Hey guys, welcome to the Common YouTube channel. This is AJ Abraham here and in this channel, I will be talking about crypto mining, which is a recent hype. Now if you think this is another channel where I'll be talking about Bitcoin or Ethereum mining that needs costly GPUs or fancy mining rigs, then you're wrong. Instead, I will be sharing here methods on how you could mine altcoins using your personal computers, your smartphones, a Raspberry Pi board or even an Arduino or a Node MCU board. So at the moment if you have a Node MCU board lying around doing not much work, then maybe you could use them to mine you some crypto. Even if you don't have one, you could always purchase one for a very cheap price from sites like Amazon or Flipkart. In this video, I am also going to introduce you guys to a type of crypto coin that probably most of you out there might have never even heard of and they are the Duino coins. Now right in the home page itself you can see that they have mentioned that they are the only type of coins that can be mined with computers, Raspberry Pis, Arduinos or ESP boards. Even though there are a lot of coins out there that can be mined using computers and Raspberry Pis, Duino coins are the only coins that can be mined using an Arduino or an ESP board without much hassle. Now you wouldn't make a lot of money mining Duino coins but if you are someone who is interested to get started with crypto mining, then this sure is a great place to start with. With that said, our first step is that we have to install the Arduino ID in your laptop. Now if you already have the Arduino ID installed, then you can skip this step. But if you don't, head over to Google and search arduino.cc slash en slash software from where you can download the latest Windows, Linux or Mac version as you need. After you're done installing the Arduino ID, there are a few setup processes that you have to do as well. Now this is because the Node MCU that you use here requires some additional packages and this is just a one-time process. So if you head over to Tools and under Boards, you can see that the Node MCU that we require here is not listed under the Boards. So all you have to do is head over to Files and under Preference, you have to paste the following link in the additional board managers URL. I will be leaving all these links in the description as well. Now head back to tools and under boards, this time head over to board managers, give it a few seconds to load and just search ESP8266. And you would find the ESP8266 board package by the ESP8266 community. Just select the latest version and hit install. Now this installation process can take roughly any time between 1 to 2 minutes so let's just wait. Ok so the ESP266 board package is also installed. Now let's close this and if you head back to tools and under boards now you can see the ESP266 boards are also listed here and if you scroll down you can find the node MCU or the ESP12 module which we will be using in this video. So just select that and then you are done with the setup process in the Arduino ID. Now let's head over to the Duino Coin website where you can register your account. So just search DuinoCoin.com and that would land you on the official website. Now a little bit intro into Duino Coin. This is actually an open source project that was developed by this guy from Poland named Robert Piotrowski. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Then later developers from all around the world started contributing into this project, making it better day by day. They also have an active Discord community where they post all the recent updates and you can also get in touch with these developers. Now back in the home page, if you scroll down you can see that they have mentioned it's completely open source and that it has been under constant development since the last two years. If you scroll down further, under technical specification, you can see that ticker symbol for Duino coin is Duco and one Duco is $0.0026 but I think it touched one cent recently and I don't know why it has not been updated here yet. So to proceed, just click on get started guide and under the table of contents, you can see that they have mentioned that you can mine with your computer, your Arduino boards, your Raspberry Pi boards, Node MCUs and your smartphones, all about which I will be talking in my upcoming videos, so don't forget to subscribe. 
today we will be mining with our node FCUs but before that you have to register an account now head over to web wallet which would redirect you to your registration page now you have to enter your username here and see that you don't forget your username because your username acts as a link to establish connection between your boards and your Duino coin account you can enter your password and reconfirm it and enter your mail and then hit register and that would register your Duino coin account and your web wallet after you register your account head back to the get started page and scroll down and you can download the latest release by clicking on any of these links and they will redirect you to the same github page from where you can download the latest release based on your OS. Now initially I downloaded the Windows package and I used the Arduino files from that package. But then when I tried uploading those codes to my Node MCU, I came across some issues with mining. And then the boards used to disconnect from the server and it tries to reconnect and then the cycle used to go on and on. So not much mining was taking place. I don't know why this happened but if this happens to you guys too, just scroll up and click on Duino coin and you can download the master Duino coin zip file from here. Now the codes in this master Duino coin package is a little different from the codes in the latest package and when I tried uploading these codes to my node MCU everything pretty much worked fine for me. So if you guys do come across the same problem just see that you try this master Duino coin package too. Now let's open the Duino coin master zip file and extract it. After you extract all the files, you can see that there are folders here that contains the codes for your Arduino board, your ESP32 and your ESP266. So open the ESP266 folder and launch the Arduino file. Once the Arduino file opens up, there's a small thing that you have to do here as well. You know the Node MCU is a Wi-Fi module and if it has to mine, has to be connected to a Wi-Fi network. So all you do is just scroll down and the place where you see Wi-Fi SSID, just enter the name of your Wi-Fi to which you want your node MCU to be connected to, followed by the password of your Wi-Fi. Then in the Duco username is where you enter the username of your Duino coin account that you gave at the time of registration. I already have a pre-existing account so I would just give my username here. Now in the rec identifier is where you can give a name to your board. You can give any name you want. You can also choose not to give a name also. So since I'm using a single ESP, I would give the name as ESP01. So that's all the changes that you have to make to this code. Now let's grab our node MCU and connect it to our PC. Okay, so I have connected my Node MCU and now let's head over to Tools and make sure that Node MCU is selected under Boards. The baud rate would be set to 115-200 by default, so you don't have to change that. And the CPU frequency, if it is set to 80 MHz in your system, make sure that you change to 160 MHz. And then all the way down in the Port section, just see that you select the port to which your node MCU is connected to. In my case, it's COM5. So that's all. Now let's hit upload and wait. So the code has been successfully uploaded to my node MCU. Now let's open the serial monitor and see if everything is working perfectly fine. See that the baud rate is set to 115 200 and give it a few minutes before something appears on your serial monitor. You can see that it is connected to the server and it's asking for a new job for user John, which is me. And this process would continue, it would go on and on. You would see job received, good share, hash one, asking for a new job like this you would see on a seal monitor and that means everything is working fine your node MCU has started to mine after the node MCU is up and running now let's head over to the wallet and see if mining has actually started and whether Duino coins are getting added to the wallet so head over to Google and search Duino coin web wallet 
click on the first link and that should take you to the login page. Now I already have a Duina coin account so let me just log into that. Okay so what you see here is the dashboard of my Duina coin account and let's just give it a few seconds before everything loads. Yeah so on the left where you see this 29 point whatever duco balance that I have are actually the Duino coins that I have been mining since the last 10 to 12 days using one node FCU. And you can see here the number is increasing over time because my node MCU which is under the Rick identifier name ESP01 has successfully started mining with a hash rate of 9.5 kilo hashes per second. So if you guys see this in your dashboard that means everything is working perfectly fine and uh, your board has started mining Duino coins. Now you can also see the current price of one Duino coin is above one cent and when I started mining the price of one Duino coin was at somewhere around 0.2 cents and recently it touched one cent and then the price uh, went higher one cent and I hope this price reaches a higher value in the future. So to the left of the Duco price you can see that they say the estimated daily profit which is uh, the amount of Duna coins that you mine in a day would be around 10 to 11 Duna coins but based on my experience you don't mine that much what I mine with my node MCU is somewhere around 2.7 to 3 Duna coins a day now you can find that if you scroll down to this earnings calculator and change mega hashes to kilo hashes and enter the hash rate of your node MCU which is 9.5 you can see that here they show the estimated profit is 2.7 Duna coins a day which is exactly what I mined with my node MCU. So just saying that seeing this value here don't think that your board is not mining properly it's just that these estimations are based on a lot of factors and you can see that this value keeps changing over time. So apart from that we also have the news section where developers post updates about the web wallet and you can also send money to different Duna coin accounts. You just have to enter the username and the amount you want to transfer. You also have a, an, an area where you call the York miners, where the names and stats of all the boards that are connected to your account and are actively mining would be listed here. So so far, I have mined Duna coins worth 32 cents, and I know it's not a huge amount. But if you have a couple of these node MCUs that are lying around doing nothing, then why not use them to mine you at least something? You know, as far as these uh, node MCUs, they have uninterrupted power supply and a stable Wi Fi connection, they would just keep mining without any issues. So, with that said, I hope this video was quite informative. And if you liked this video, let YouTube know that you liked it. If you didn't, let me know in the comment section. And if you have a friend who is interested in crypto mining, do share this with them. See you guys in the next video. Happy mining.